Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about this Call of Duty Vanguard early gameplay that we got to see. So right now I'm actually watching Gamescom right now as I speak. But I do want to talk to you guys about this. I'm going to have the gameplay up for you guys to see as well. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys let me know by liking this video and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section down below that you're new and I'll give you a shout out on my next video. Simple as that. But anyways... It's going to be a short video. I just want to talk to you guys about what I feel about the gameplay and how I, you know, what I saw and what I think the game is going to be like and how my opinion is about the game. Now, obviously, this was a stream. I didn't get to play the game yet. I will be playing the game this weekend. Make sure you guys stay there for the a live stream because that's going to be pretty lit. But um, this is just my first impressions of it. And, uh, you know, we're just going to get right into it. All right. So here we go. All right. First off, we do see a little bit of the destruction, and it is what I thought it was. It's literally just, you know, a planned out destruction little area where you just, you know, break a wall, break a little barrier, go through it, whatever, which I can see it definitely is going to be in the multiplayer, but it's nothing going to be crazy. It's going to be scripted for sure. It's definitely going to be scripted, so it's nothing going to be crazy. So, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I, think, I think it'll actually be pretty cool to do because you can actually break doors obviously so you don't have to worry about people hiding behind doors and stuff so you get to break doors so that sounds really good you get to um you know break little barriers and stuff so it's gonna it's gonna be really good so i'm really excited for that so i think that's gonna be really cool all right so next there is going to be blind fire obviously we've seen the blind fire and so the blind fire looks very very like like it could be op, it could be it could be cheesy. I could see a lot of people just using it. Uh, from the looks of it, it, looks like you could still kind of see above the barrier that you're you know you're you know you're shooting, you're blind firing. So hopefully you know it look the animation looks different in multiplayer. But as of right now, the game does look like the blind fire is going to be something that a lot of people are going to use, especially in hardcore. I'm going to be playing core this year, but uh, you know, I might be playing some hardcore, I don't know. But it looks like it's going to be really cheesy, so I, I don't know how the bonfire is going to be. But uh, from the glimpse of the, from the little glimpse of gameplay that they showed, it looks like it's going to be something crazy, all right? That's all I have to say. All right. So next, there is, um, you know, weapon mounting, as we already said in my other previous videos. There is weapon mounting. The weapon mounting looks, you know, looks just like Modern Warfare. Um, obviously I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't think it's like Call of Duty like to have mounting and stuff, but it's in the game. So it is what it is. Um, I guarantee you we're going to have camel challenges for it, which is going to suck, but it is, you know, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? So we just got to deal with it. But, um, uh, that's pretty much it for that. The blind firing, the, the mounting, you can, I didn't, they didn't show off the mounting while sliding. They said that you can mount and slide. So that is very interesting. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that's gonna look. Um, but you know, yet again, I'm not gonna I'm gonna use that feature when I need to. But honestly, I feel like a Call of Duty without mounting and blind firing is the way to go. But it's in the game, so it is what it is. Alright. Now next up we're gonna get into the gameplay, right? The gunplay, it looks really good. It looks like just like Modern Warfare, you know, 2019 with the recoil, just the gun animations. Everything looks just like how Modern Warfare 2019 looked, which was pretty cool in my opinion. I think that was actually really cool. So, um, you know, we're gonna have to deal with recoil, which I'm fine with, because, you know, I play Battlefield, so recoil and Call of Duty is absolutely nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? Shotguns, they look, they look like they're gonna be OP. The shotguns look like they are about to be OP. So, you know, just like, just like Modern Warfare, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be OP. They're gonna be OP. All right, sorry there. Something may happen on Gamescom, so I just had to check that out. But anyways, the shotguns look like they're about to be, you know, pretty cheesy, just like Modern Warfare 2019. Now, the gunplay and the gameplay itself, all right? So the graphics, it looks like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, right? But then the, the, the gameplay seems like a mixture of World War II with Modern Warfare 2019, which I feel like, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, the game, 
I can't really tell if it looks slow or not because I have to see multiplayer and I have to feel it. So my first impressions aren't going to be like me harsh about the game until I actually play it. But from the looks of it, it looked like the speed was okay. So it doesn't look like we're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of, you know, slow paced action and everything. But let's just hope that, you know, we see some fast gunplay in the multiplayer and everything else. So that way we can really know how this Call of Duty is going to really be. You know what I'm saying? A fast paced Call of Duty is always a great Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? Now, my last thing I do have to say is that the colors, they do look bland. But yet again, it was on the stream and it was just showing the campaign. So maybe they're just trying to make it look dark and gritty. So maybe obviously once the game comes out and we see the multiplayer, maybe the maps will be way more colorful. Maybe we'll see more variety of colors. And maybe the game will just be like just that much more, you know, you know, it just pop for your eye. You know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, that was pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? We got to see a couple guns, you know what I'm saying? An assault rifle, a sniper. We got to see, you know, some marksman rifles and all that stuff and some shotguns. So other than that, the game looks really cool. Uh, obviously, I'm really hyped for the game. I did get the ultimate edition. If you guys want to check out that video, make sure you guys check it out. But um, I'm actually excited for the game, so I think it's going to be really good. And uh, make sure you guys are there for the live stream that I will be having for Call of Duty Vanguard this Friday, I believe, is when it goes live. And I'm also going to have a ton of videos for you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned to that. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more news, just make sure you guys stay subscribed because I'm going to be posting crazy content as soon as it comes out. As soon as it comes out. I'm going to be doing the videos for everything that comes out, all right? So I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.